ready to like head out of the house there's something about when you are alone like up to your own schedule it is so hard to leave the house especially like sometimes random times throughout trips i just get like this like pit in my stomach where just like i'm nervous i'm nervous to go out into this new city and like walk around and it feels like perfectly safe it's just like nerves like the first day i want to show you guys my outfit Okay, I have this shirt that I thrifted in Portugal. I got it at a flea market. It's literally just like a men's dress shirt, but I thought it'd be like classier because my sister told me that I need to start dressing classier. Um, these black pants that I got at Goodwill. Pink Adidas that my mom gave me. I'm gonna drink my tea and then we shall get going. Fall into your because I know that this is gonna be my last day on this solo trip. To be like 100% honest, I never thought I would make it this far. Like, I always get teary-eyed when I talk about it. I think I never thought like, <laughs> not that I wouldn't survive, but that just like everything would go smoothly. And obviously like it didn't, there were bumps in the road, like, like when my phone completely broke in Iceland. Like honestly, at that moment, I thought the whole trip was over and that was like three days into the trip. It definitely wasn't like all the absolute easiest. There were bumps in the road, but we did it. And I think to know that it's over and that tomorrow, like I'm gonna meet up with my sister, it is a little emotional. And I honestly, I did this whole thing to kind of push myself which sounds really weird but like i feel like traveling alone has taught me so much it's made me a lot more confident in myself not like a confidence where like oh i feel so good but just like a confidence like if i can do this like i can do anything i put my mind to and i think that in my real life when things go wrong i kind of just throw it on my parents like if my car breaks down i'm like dad what do i do and so here in iceland even when my phone stopped working, it was kind of like, okay, what am I gonna do? Because my dad is not here. He can't just magically fix this for me. And it was kind of that same feeling in Bali when it's like, when I was about to get robbed, it's like, okay, what am I gonna do about this? You know, like I have to find a way to fix this. And I don't know, solo traveling is not for everyone. Some people have told me like, I could never do that. Like, I just don't, that doesn't sound fun. And I'm not gonna lie and say it's like the funnest thing to be alone 24 seven, but I also wouldn't trade it for like anything. I think I learned from this trip that I really love nature and moving forward, like I would love my trips to be kind of centered around that. One of my favorite times throughout this trip is the bus and train rides where I can just watch the scenery like I literally cried in Andorra when I was on the bus just because the mountains were insane and seeing like cows and just the nature, like that's where my heart is, like that's what I love. And I don't know guys, I'm sad to go. Like it was an adventure and maybe that's like, maybe that's dramatic to say that it was an adventure, but to me it was. And I think that knowing that it's ending tomorrow it's just so sad, like I'm literally crying. But yeah, I guess this whole point of this video was just to show you that traveling isn't perfect. I love romanticizing my trips and showing like beautiful parts of the world, but it's not easy. There's so many moments where I'm sweating and gross and I have 50 pounds of luggage on cobblestone streets and I have to walk for two miles because I don't want to pay for a taxi or where I feel like I'm gonna get pickpocketed or robbed or when weird people are staring at me or when I don't know the language so I can't buy things at a grocery store or when I get off at the wrong train stop and I have to like 
pay a really expensive taxi or when my phone completely breaks in Iceland or my tire goes out in Iceland. Like there, there's so many things that go wrong and that just make it hard, but I think it's just the experience of it all and there's so much like adrenaline. I don't know guys, I love it so much and it's hard when I'm on a trip to not just think of the next time that I can do this. Like I already have like five places like I'm dying to go to. But this is just your sign that if you've always wanted to do it, you so can. Because if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> like trust me. I am the shyest person ever. I never thought that I would be able to. Like I'm so shy guys. I don't order food in my hometown. Like the idea of a drive through freaks me out. So the fact that in the last three weeks I've been to six countries and obviously ordered my own food like every day in different languages. Like that's a huge thing for me and so like I said if I can do it you can do it I think dreams are not always for everyone something that they can just go after and so sometimes you have to take like a different path and I think for me obviously like I don't have millions of dollars to just spend on traveling or I don't like have my parents money to just frolic around and travel so I had to work really hard in my teen years and save up and now I can take these trips and it's just it's the best thing ever like there's nothing I'd rather spend my money on. And I love you guys. I appreciate you for watching. And just know that if you want to travel, you can do it. And there's so many beautiful places out in the world. And like, oh my gosh, I wish that my eyes were a camera <laughs> because there's so many beautiful places and you can't even capture it in the feeling on film. But they're out there and getting to see them is worth every penny. And. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you again when I travel.